A desperate search for survivors is underway in Taiwan following the strongest earthquake there in 25 years. Oh! Horrific dash cam video captures the moment a landslide was triggered by the 7.4 magnitude quake that killed at least nine people and injured hundreds of others, many of whom remain trapped beneath the rubble. The epicenter was southeast of the capital Taipei, where tremors were felt about 150 kilometers away. CTV's Andrew Johnson brings us the latest developments. It hit during the morning rush, rocking cars as drivers slammed on the brakes. Some forced to jump out and run for their lives, a building coming down right next to them. Other commuters tossed around on trains. Live broadcasts were interrupted. Inside homes, the shaking sparked panic. Among the many trying to hang on, Vancouver's Charlie Wu, who says he froze inside his 12th floor Taipei apartment. The plates and glass jars and bottles and all hit the floor, shattering. It was a, a moment of <laughs> a darkness and you reflect on your life. <laughs> Wu is grateful to be okay, but says the aftershocks oh, yeah. just keep coming. It's always like your bed is moving and or your, it's even the movements. So almost like, you know, the, the, the ocean movement, you know, when you take a cruise. Rescue teams have been working around the clock, trying to free people trapped by debris or in buildings left precariously leaning. Taiwan is a world leader in earthquake preparedness. Strict building codes and widespread public education are being credited with saving lives. The island also uses an early warning system, similar to one expected to go live in Canada later this spring. The amount of warning uh, really depends on the uh, distance of the earthquake. So a large earthquake directly beneath your feet there won't be time. But seismologists in BC's earthquake zone near Metro Vancouver say if the quake hits offshore like it did in Taiwan, an Amber Alert style warning will buy precious time. Most likely would be 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds. That's not a lot of time, but experts say it could be enough to trigger automatic shutdowns for trains or tunnels, disrupt the flow to pipelines, and open up bay doors at fire halls, while the rest of us use those few seconds to drop, take cover, and hold on. Heather. Andrew, thank you.